Hey guys, what's going on? Your boy Monse here. So I thought that I would show you a little bit of what I'm doing with my Dell Precision T3610. It's actually a great computer. As you know, I upgraded it to a hex core. But recently I got Sony Vegas Pro 15. And for some reason, when I'm rendering in 4K, this seems to put a great load on the CPU, even though it's a hex core, it's at like 99% load. So um, I did not see it overheating. It will actually reach around 74 Celsius um, on the CPU, but because I don't want to put so much strain on it, I decided that I wanted to add an extra fan and um, you know, I invented something and it actually worked. It actually brought it down significantly. Um, it actually brought it down while it's rendering from 74 to like 64, which is incredible. Um, but I'll show you what I invented. And I thought, why not put a bigger fan um, and skinnier and actually put it inside the unit where you can't even see it. So I'll show you the little contraption. Check it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. So there is the fan. This is what I invented. Uh, it's nice and tight right there. I actually made it uh, a USB. So I was thinking, you know, I could plug it in whenever I want and unplug it. And this actually helped. So I said, what will happen if I just try to get something a little bigger eh, and put it on the inside? So I got this little thing. See, it's nice and skinny. And I'm going to try to put it on this side. In the inside... Um, and since there doesn't see, actually, let me see. Could, no, that's not for the, because this does have a, see, you could do two port and three. But, let me see, it's a three. I don't think you have those inside the computer. So I was going to do, since I have a USB connection right there, as you can see. I was going to make a USB and just connect it there. Every time I turn on the PC, whether I'm editing or not, it will keep the PC on a super cool stage. Now, I have some connectors here, but I'm not 100% sure if this is actually electricity coming through there or not. I'm going to try it out and read it because I don't want to burn nothing. But I honestly do not think that that's for a fan. As the ones for the fans on this machines are like this. They're like four ports, nice and skinny. So I don't think that would be for a fan. So the likelihood is that I'm going to put it down there as a USB. Every time I turn on the PC, it's going to turn on the fan automatically. And of course, you could basically know that what it's, I'm going to put it in here. And the CPU does have a fan in the middle here. I don't know how well you can see it. See right on the top right there. It has a fan that blows this way. And when I put this one, it's going to blow out. So that should definitely help, especially when the, the RAM also start to heat up significantly when I'm rendering on Sony Vegas Pro 15. I don't know why, for some reason, I was using 14 and it wasn't taking as much resource on the on the... On the computer but now sony vegas 15 is using a lot of resource i don't know why it uses so much and this is a hex core um running at 3.9 gigahertz and it's like my god you know the the processor i see the cpu running at 3.5 gigahertz 99 percent load and all six cores are like maxed out i'm like how can that be but you know, and definitely the temperature is up there, 74, 75 Celsius. So I'm going to show you once I'm done and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so now as you can see, got the USB cord right here. And I just connect red and black to the red and black disc. You're not going to need these. I forget what you call this this wire right here, but this is basically um, when you connect it to a three pin on a computer, it gives um, basically um, how many um, revolution the fan is running, how hot the fan is, you know, it, it basically gives, it sends information to the, 
to the computer if it's a three pin but this fan is not made for the com my computer here my Dell Precision um, this is like a four pin one so what I do is I take this yellow one off I'm not gonna need it so I'm gonna cut it and I put the, the red with the red of the USB the black with the black now this USB cord right here this USB co co connector right there actually a core yeah this USB cord right here, it came from a, a keyboard, an old keyboard that I wasn't using. I just basically grabbed it. Um, I cut it. Um, I believe it has like four different wires inside, but the ones you want is going to be the red and the black, which those are going to be <clears throat> for the voltage. That's what's going to, you know, send the voltage. Um, the other colors, I'm not 100% sure what they're for, but I didn't need it. So now I'm going to add some black tape. And it's a big fan. It's going to be hard to fit in there. I'm going to try my best. I'm just um, hoping that um, this connectors right here is going to absorb the, the shocks and, and it's not going to vibrate. So we're going to try our best. But I'm sure that once it gets going and it's there and it starts just blowing air out, it's going to definitely make a huge difference inside of this, this PC, this workstation. So we're going to put the tape. We're going to plug it on. Turn on the computer and then we'll go from there. All right. So we got the, the fan in, as you can see. We got the fan in there. Um, kind of a bullet job. Um, and I know that some of you, I actually had to cut the fan because it was bigger. This was a 90. It was both 90 and 100 millimeter fan. So I cut out the hundreds and and I cut out the other holes on the other side that I'm not, I'm not going to need because the air is going to be sucked in through here and out through there. But um, some of you, for the haters, you know, are going to say, oh, but this and that, you could have done this and better. And yes, I know, I could have done way better. I could have got a kid. I could have got all that, but I didn't want to. I just wanted something simple eh, that I could take out. If the fan goes back, I'll simply take it out and that's it. Throw it away if I don't need to use it. Nothing, nothing major. I don't want to add more, you know, just, just tiny little, little retro in there. Like I said, it's going to be connected in there in the USB, right in there. And that's it. So when I'm rendering now, Sony Vegas Pro 15, this will definitely keep the PC more, more cooler and it'll help the CPU with the strain. So we're actually going to test it. Um, we're rendering this 4K video and we're going to see how well it dissipates the heat. So that's all I got for y'all. Thank you so much for, for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll try my best to explain how simple it is to just grab USB from anywhere, old keyboard, cut it, use the red and, and, and the black. That's where the five volts go from. I wish... It was 12 volts, or I would find a, a output 12 volts somewhere here that I could have used because this fan would run so much faster with 12 volts. This is rated, I think, for 12 volts. With 12 volts, this baby would have been like, oof. But actually, let me show you a little preview. Let me plug it in, and I'll show you a little bit. Actually, let me just have it plugged in already. Don't want to be poking in there. So as you can see, Gonna connect it right in there. It's connecting. Okay. Gonna plug it in. And as soon as I turn it in, see? And it's gonna get faster, of course, see? Makes no noise or nothing. So, there you go. It shut off on itself, the computer, because I gotta restart it. But you have an idea. Now I'm gonna fix the wires, and there you go. A quick retrofit to keep the computer. There you have it. Sorry, the video cut up because since I'm recording in 4K, um, it only gives me a uh, five minutes interval between videos. But um, that's just a quick retrofit. Just so you can see, it's just me, you know, messing around in the house with the computer, trying to find a quick solution, nothing major. This is an, an expensive computer. Um, as I, I made a video of it before, I upgraded to a uh, hex core. So I got a hex core running at 3.9 gigahertz. Um, I got 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's actually fast RAM. It's um, 
Oh God, man, I hate it when I can't remember. It's faster than, than 1333 megahertz. It's, it's a faster frequency, so it's pretty fast um, RAM. Um, but still, man, even with all that, it was, once I'm rendering, like I said, 4K, it's like, whoa, all the re almost all the resources getting used. Uh, the RAM, not so much. I'm, I I use about 10 gigabytes. I think 8, 10 gigabytes is using of RAM when I'm rendering. To, it's saving, of course, the 4K files somewhere else while it's rendering. But the CPU is that I noticed. It was like the load was too high. Um, and it was kind of getting hot. It wasn't overheating, but it was getting hot. I just didn't like the, how hot it was. But it um, should be all good now, guys. Thank you for watching. I check you all out. And don't forget to fo um, follow my boy, Ari Bulitano's channel. So all you got to do is just go on the search and Aris Bulitano. You know what I'm saying? He's always, he loves to blog the kid funny. So make sure you go check his channel out, okay? Aris Bulitano. I'll leave a link in the description down there. So check it out and just, just check out his channel, all right? Well, anyways, check you out.